<laughs> hey guys, this is Ronnie from Ronnie's PC Talk. Hey, I wanted to touch base with you on a couple things and it's probably going to upset a couple of you people and I apologize ahead of time. But it's something a little bit more critical than just your feelings. Um, you guys all know Susan G. Uh, uh, Komen, uh, she cut out the funding uh, to Planned Parenthood. They actually get millions of dollars a year for, for uh, Planned Parenthood. And uh, unfortunately, she came to the decision because Planned Parenthood is under investigation for illegal practices. Uh, in fact, the state of Kansas actually had 23 felony cases penned up against them. And, um, you know, uh, anybody knows that when you put your name behind something, if there's anything um, that could cause you a black eye, you have to reevaluate whether or not they're worthy of having you... Uh, you know, worthy of their funds. And anyway, uh, just to let you know, those 23 felony charges that were in Kansas were dropped. You want to know why? Okay, well, let me tell you. The reason why they were dropped, and I did some research on this because they're toting how the, they were actually all dropped. Well, here's this. It says um, they had been destroyed. <laughs> yeah. See, what happened was the original copies were held up at the Attorney General's office and somehow they got shredded. So without the evidence of original contracts or original files against them, they had nothing. So they were forced to put, they were forced to actually just drop the case against them. Um, and the, the Attorney General that was in office at the time, his name, uh, let me see, where was it? It was Attorney General uh, Steve Six. Uh, and kind of odd if you really look him up and find out who he supports. Planned Parenthood. Talk about corruption, man. Well, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because not only there, I mean, you got acts of uh, violations um, in Texas. I mean, they're all, they're actually, they're running rampant throughout the United States. Well, here's the thing is, is that if you don't know who Planned Parenthood, uh, they're a U.S. affiliate of the International Planned Parenthood uh, Federation internationally your tax dollars that hard at work internationally I'm not saying it's a bad thing by the way just so you guys know no I agree with what they're doing it's supposed to be a pro-choice you know um, help the ladies out and everything else well if you do your studies by the way on Susan G. Koopman they're all about cancer when I say Planned Parenthood do you think of cancer I didn't I didn't either I didn't I, what I thought of was abortions, uh, you know, condoms. Um, I thought of, uh, you know, pills, after morning pills, things like that. I didn't think once about cancer. So how come they're being demonized? Why is it that no one's bringing up these allegations of why they cut the funding off? Shouldn't that be on the forefront of everybody's mind? Yes. Guys, I mean, come on, think about this. Yes, Planned Parenthood, probably in its infancy, was a good thing, but it became corrupt. It's not that the concept was a, a bad idea, it was a great idea. So to those of you that are out there that are thinking, oh, Ronnie, you're against Planned Parenthood, you know what, bite me. It has nothing to do with Planned Parenthood's society. It's how they were using the funding in of that. Federal government says that you cannot use uh, funds for abortions. It's against the law. And what were they doing? Let me show you. Okay, so if we go back and do the fact check. Oh, fact check. What a concept. Oh my gosh. Anyway, Planned, Put, uh, Planned Parenthood is one of the largest providers of reproductive health services in the United States, which includes contraceptions and abortions, among other services. Um, if it's against the law, why are they doing that? You know what? I, I got to tell you, this is something, uh, again, that, come on, guys. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Do not paint a gray in a wrong. It doesn't work that way. You may say it's cut and dry or it's not. It, there's more to it. Yeah, there is more to it. There's, it's called corruption. Say it with me, please corruption okay get past the other stuff hey look it I'm gonna tell you something if you want Planned Parenthood to work 
create another organization without the corruption. You know what? Toss that one out. Get rid of those corrupt people. Get them out of the way. You know why? Because what you have, really, the concept is phenomenal. I am all for it. Anything that will help, you know, help out. Um, I'm pro-choice, just so you guys know. But I do believe that a person does have that right. I, I can't go against that because that's part of our constitution. It's not part of my religion. I, I'm sorry, I'm Christian. You know, I believe in pro-choice. I believe that there's enough people out there that want babies. You know, there's so much bureaucracy that actually keeps people from adopting. And, you know, and for people to use... I don't know. I, I, there's a better way. Let me put it that way. In any case, what I want to tell you was, here's this. In August, that's right, August, okay, um, the government, you know, the government health care takeover. Yeah, I'm back to that again. But there, there's a reason why I'm bringing you back to this point, okay? And, and, and uh, in fact, it was the government, Obama said that it's not true, that they're not funding, you know, uh, abortion. They're not going against what the laws are right now. It says that's not... And, but he, he listen to what he says, and I have the quote. This is from August 19th. It says, you've heard that the government takeover of health care. That's not true. You've heard that this will, um, this will all go, wait a minute. You've heard that this is all going to mean government funding for abortion. Not true. This is all. These things are all fabrications that have been put out there in order to discourage people from meeting what I consider to be the core ethical and moral obligation. Really? Are you kidding me? Talk about moral obligation. Dude, where are your morals and ethics behind the fact that you're lying? You are lying. President Obama, I'm saying it out loud, right here in your own words. You lied. We're not supposed to have funding, yet you actually have Obamacare funding these people. They're going against the law and you are supporting them. Look, it came to, he actually said, and it's the thing is, is he was lying, I mean, through his teeth on a conference call to religious orders, just so that you know. Um, it actually went out to thousands of listeners, organization, and they were organized by the, by the religious support groups uh, supporting his health care proposal. Because he said that it wasn't in any way, shape, or form going to help abortions. So he told these people of religious orders that were in support of Planned Parent, I mean, uh, of, of Obamacare. Well, uh, what he said was, uh, there has been a lot of misinformation in this debate. And there are some folks out there who say, frankly, bearing false witness. I like how he uses biblical terms, false witness. Um, and then he humbled, uh, and, then, and then what happened was he lumped in that portion uh, where it says um, coverage will be listed in the, month in, in the claims of Obamacare. Okay, first of all, not, not even to address the fact that we have a president that lies. And okay, some of you say they all do. Okay, does that make it right? I mean, what do we do? Just accept the fact that we have a liar for a president? Okay, they all do. Really? Then what are we going to do to stop it? Where are you going to say enough is enough? Stop the doggone line and get us somebody in there with some ethics, some morals, some dignity, not to lie in our face. Look, my job right now is actually to give you guys some information. You want to demonize uh, Ms. Craig? I mean, really, you, you really want to demonize these people that give millions of dollars to other foundations? Here, I'll give you a list of uh, uh, the uh, Komen foundation for cancer does they give out scholarships to kids so they can uh get into to become doctors and and advocates believe it or not uh you know to help their cause in fact they give millions of dollars to research and science uh funding um community health such as Planned Parenthood not just Planned Parenthood but other entities as well um they're around the world. They're not just here in the United States. Uh, in fact, they're also on the scientific, uh, scientific advisory board. Okay, look, you get it right, people. Seriously, get it right. They are not the demons. The problem is Planned Parenthood, the people, not the concept. 
you want to defund Planned Parenthood and start all over again? I'm all for that, man. Get somebody else in there. Give it a new name. But get those people out of there. Get the government out of there. This is supposed to be something that is funded by the people. You guys, right? Just a little bit more for you guys to think about, about ethics and morals. First of all, it's against the law. They shouldn't even be doing that. And your money, for those of you that don't want it to go to abortions are paying for it, or you will be. Just saying, when are you going to draw the line? Anyway, this is me talking to you, and have a good day.